I believe that uh, Western Balkan 6 and uh, EU are very important for each other. And that uh, Western Balkan 6 is uh, not a uh, neighborhood of EU or neighbors of EU. We are surrounded by EU. And um, we look very much forward for uh, advice and assistance for what we have been campaigning about, and that is uh, justice and jobs. So we need your two A's for our two J's, uh, advice and assistance for, for justice and jobs, uh, because uh, fighting uh, organized crime and high-level corruption is um, of crucial importance, both for uh, democratization of our country, but also for foreign investment and for domestic investment, for that matter. Uh, we believe that uh, uh, EU can also help us with its uh, experience on um, bridging uh, skills gap, linking a uh, labor market with qualitative education, especially uh, Germany. And uh, we consider a very unfortunate uh, event uh, uh, declaration of uh, President Juncker in uh, 2014 when uh, he announced that there will be no enlargement because uh, I believe as a consequence, the consequence of that we got uh, uh, these uh, three great dangers which fortunately did not uh, implement uh, namely two failed coup d'etats in Montenegro and in North uh, Macedonia but also a dangerous project of land swap between Kosovo and Serbia. Uh, so we have these three failures, but three dangers initially, due to the lack of uh, vision for enlargement. I understand that uh, reforms are needed, but I believe that reforms in EU are not needed only in enlargement aspect. Reforms are needed in EU itself, and um, I believe that uh, all six countries of Western Balkans should join EU at the same time. I don't think that there is any other possibility. If one or two countries join before the others, I think uh, there will be more problems in Western Balkans. So just like in, on 1st of January 2004, 10 countries joined at the same time, I think now, perhaps 2030 or something like that, we should work and prepare that all six countries of Western Balkans join at the same time. And uh, this uh, idea of Mini Schengen, which is not very clear to me because I haven't seen much of documents and implementation, which is rather an idea without uh, implementation than projects that have been accomplished. I believe it should be included into Berlin process. It's best if uh, Berlin process takes over this new Schengen and all six countries are uh, around the table. And this mini Schengen, which will be integrated into Berlin process, advances into mini Marshall Plan for Western Balkan six. Just like U.S. after Second World War did Marshall Plan for Western Europe, now we need mini Marshall Plan for Western Balkans by EU. And uh, the last thing, but uh, very important one, is that uh, we have to well prepare with good principles future dialogue in our region and especially between Kosovo and Serbia. There should be, let's say, three principles of this dialogue to heal the wound of the failed project of land swap. First is no deal without dialogue. Second is no dialogue with maps. And third is no maps with presidents around. <laughs> Twenty, 20 years ago, over two decades ago, almost all of you helped us 
to liberate Kosovo from Serbia. I think that now it's time to help Serbia get liberation from Kosovo. So after liberation of Kosovo from Serbia, we need liberation of Serbia from Kosovo. We got liberation because we were occupied. And I think that Serbia needs liberation because Kosovo is a trap for Serbia. Sooner Serbia gets liberated from Kosovo, better will be for both of us and for the entire uh, Western Balkans. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister. If you allow me, I need to react on this. I, 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 I will come back to you. I will come back to you. Um, I was planning to come back to you. Um, I know that uh, Phil Vika has to leave soon, so I wanted actually to 